with round one of the ST Trophy unfortunately being cancelled after only two of the crews managed to make the start due to adverse weather conditions, the second round of the series would then become the opening point scoring round. The championship headed home as far as the cars were concerned. M Sport in Cumbria, home of the World Rally Team and of course, where these Fiesta ST rally cars started life. The weekend would start with a tour of M Sport for crews. A bit of enjoyment before the competition on day two. And talking of that competition, Sam Billum leads the crews away. A mix of new and old faces fill out the competitive entry this weekend. Four stages face the crews this morning, ending with a run round the M Sport Test Forest at Greystone. Coverage of the ST Trophy is brought to you by the championship sponsors. On to the stages then, and it would be the early lead for Sam Billum and Cameron Fair. 21 seconds of an advantage at this point in the rally. 300. Flat crest pass lay by, 130. It's caution, four right, six left. And five right. 80. Flat Kesky, middle 400. It would be a surprise to Jody McManus and John Armstrong who end the morning with second place. This was their first event in four months and more surprisingly four was only their third time on gravel. Things were clearly going well there for the pair at this stage. Everything right clicking flat, inside in the, the car. Left, in the five right carry. She has five left, five right carry now, one third of it, go, 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 one thirty now, care ahead, four left in the three right over bridge, narrow, it's not a bridge, sorry, it's just three right Whoa. narrow, here over crest in the five left, five left now, opens long, go, 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 one thirty, go, 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 one thirty, two left, there's your two left there, Jody, watch it, caution on it, it's tight, into one right, into one right, into one left, you're right, one left, one thirty, Turn square eight narrows. Richard Wells and Calvin Holdsworth come to the series off the back of some good results in the rally first series. Things were going well here with third place and just 20 seconds back from McManus. For John Ambler and Doug Chivers, it will be fourth. A good start to the first proper round of the season for the pair at this stage. A further 12 seconds back from Wells. A big push would be needed. And it would be a day of working on the setup of the car for Jason Dixon and R. Will Jenkins. Having only done Irish forestry in the past, this was just a little bit different. They end the morning with fifth place, just two seconds back from Ambler. A mistake on the opening stage for Alistair Curry and Stephen Brown would unfortunately cost them time, meaning they would have to settle for sixth place now. They were still showing some good pace though, considering the lack of miles in the car prior to the rally. Tom Eason and Abby Haycock would make a steady start to the event with seventh place. Sadly, this would be the last time we'd see them. They go off before our cameras in the next stage. This weekend would be the first time in the Fiesta for Guy Butler, with our cameraman Jamie McTavish on the notes. They end the morning with eighth place, 22 seconds behind Eason. Meanwhile, it would be a bad start for Martin Oscarin and John Ross. Problems on the road section mean they go into stage three in a rush and didn't have the intercom connected. Schoolboy error, you could say. They would go off the stage though, losing a lot of time, showing just how important that teamwork inside the car really is. Uh, from what I've seen of the times we're leading after stage three, uh, felt we were going well, just took it, took it relatively easy in stage one. Uh, didn't know what the conditions were going to be like. Um, so quite sort of rocky in places and uh, rutted. So then just build pace from there and feel to be going well. So carry that on into Grisdale this afternoon. So at the end of the morning stages, it's an early lead for Sam Billum. But there were plenty of good times in the places behind, showing the challenge that was perhaps still to come. Three more stages lie in wait for the crews in the afternoon, starting with a run down to Grisdale. Coverage of the ST Trophy is brought to you by our championship sponsors. Onto the afternoon stages then, and it will be bad luck for Guy Butler and Jamie McTavish. 
they break a drive shaft off the start line of stage five having to limp the car through they do however call it a day at the end of the stage to avoid any further damage to the car although these cars will move with one drive shaft you do risk big damage to the diff in doing so It will be a similar fate ending the day for Jody McManus and John Armstrong. A broken engine mount would contribute towards the problems in the afternoon, but it would be a broken drive shaft finishing that rally for them. It wouldn't be plain sailing for Martin Oskarin and John Ross either. They'd have a few more small offs to end the rally with sixth place. No such problems to report, technical or otherwise. Meanwhile, for John Ambler and Doug Chivers, they end the rally with fifth place, three minutes off the lead. And it will be a further 30 seconds ahead overall for Jason Dixon and Arwell Jenkins. They end the event with fourth place, missing out on a podium by just 11 seconds. On to those podium places then, and it will be third place for Richard Wells and Calvin Holdsworth a good start to their championship campaign in the new car. Some good times since their earlier mishap would see Alistair Curry and Stephen Brown move up to second place. A good end to the rally for the pair. They will be looking to challenge Billum on future rounds. But that means it's victory at the first round of the championship for Sam Billum and Cameron Fair. A good run this weekend without any problems other than a small dent in the wing just to show they were trying. Uh, very good. No real, no real dramas apart from last stage, a little bit of a nudge on a bail, but nothing, nothing major. Uh, really enjoyed Grasdale as always. Um, you know, we came with the intention of trying to win. We've achieved that, so we just want to try and keep that going all year. Uh, one up ourselves on last year and try to go for the championship. So confirmation then at the end of what has been the first round for the ST Trophy competitors. For Sam Billum, of course, a great performance, top of the leaderboard. Some good performances, though, looking promising for a good fight this season, right through that field. The points, of course, reflect the result here this weekend. Sam taking maximum points. Next up for the Fiesta ST Trophy cruise, it's the Somerset stages and a few weeks' time. For now, though, thank you for watching.